What's going on, everybody? Sean Hyken back with you again from Odds Checker, just getting you ready for this Wednesday night slate of NBA games. There's a lot of games on tonight. There's definitely some picks that I like, some good value, I think, to be had here. First, with the Pacers and the Bucks, Central Division Showdown. Uh, the Bucks are coming off this blowout win against Portland, and then the Pacers just got a great win against uh, Indiana on Tuesday night. And you can get the Pacers money line at a pretty good price. You can get it at plus 335 at resortscasino.com. And I just, I like the way the Pacers have been playing. I know they're on a back-to-back, -back, but they've been, you know, hanging around with teams, even, you know, even when they've been shorthanded in the past, they've, you know, had injuries. And the Bucks have been just inconsistent enough. That loss to New Orleans the other week still just kind of sticks with me as one where, you know, you can't, even when they're a better team than somebody, and they certainly are, I think, on paper, a better team than the Pacers, even though the Pacers are pretty good. You can't just count on them. And so I think the value on plus 335 there, that's the kind of uh, value you would usually get when the Bucks are playing against, I don't know, the Pistons or, or somebody like that, or a much worse team than the Pacers. So the fact that you can get the Pacers, who are a pretty good team, not as good as the Bucks on paper, but a pretty good team at that price, I think that's something worth jumping on. Now, the Clippers and the Cavs. Uh, the Clippers, you know, they're going to be on a back-to-back. -back. They're against, you know, they just had that uh, loss to Brooklyn that, you know, went down to the wire. They're going to Cleveland. I like the, the, the prop that I like here is Darius Garland to hit three or more three-pointers, which you can get at plus 280 right now on FanDuel. And... He's been shooting the ball really well since he got back from the injury that he had a couple weeks ago, and he's, you know, he, you know, the, he's been, you know, you, you can actually get, like, Colin Sexton has been filling it up in terms of points, but he hasn't been shooting as quite as, as well from three. You can actually get, if you really want to get him a little bit more ambitious, you can get Colin Sexton to hit three or more three-pointers at plus 320, but I think Garland is a little bit safer of a bet there because he shoots a higher volume of threes and he makes a higher volume of threes. He had a game earlier last week where he hit six three-pointers so he can definitely get hot from that range and so I think uh that's the play there from that game now the Sixers and the Hornets uh I mean Philly's favored as they should be but it's the, the line I think is kind of high the line is uh minus seven and a half I like the Hornets to cover and you can get that at plus 100 right now on Fox bet and you know the Hornets don't really just get blown out even by good teams they had they had a really good win the other night against Miami that went into overtime but they've been they stick around they they don't get blown out easily they don't let you just kind of put them away so I like them to cover there and at least keep it close if not win this game but I like that you can get positive value there so I like that uh the Knicks and the Bulls this is going to be probably the biggest swing that I'll take i mean it's the biggest swing i've taken lately but i think a big swing uh that is worth taking you can get lowry markinen on FanDuel to score 30 or more points at plus 1100 he scored 31 and 30 in their last two games he's you know he's he's kind of on a tear right now and he had you know a 30 point game against the knicks in the last game and uh, for whatever reason he always plays well against the Knicks. He's averaging over 20 points a game in his career when he's playing the Knicks, which is one of his highest totals against any team. For So for whatever reason, the Knicks bring it out of him. And the fact that you can get him at plus 1,100 to score, uh, to have the point total that he had in the last two games, I think that's, I mean, it, it, it's certainly a big swing, but I think it's one that's worth taking. And then uh, the last game of the night, the Suns and the Pelicans. The Suns are favored by two and a half, so... It's Suns minus two and a half, but you can get that at plus one hundred on Fox Bet. And I just, I, don't know, I just, I trust Phoenix more than I trust New Orleans. New Orleans has been very up and down. Phoenix, you know, started hot, then they dipped a little bit. They have, you know, picked it up. I think again recently since Devin Booker has been back. So uh, I like, you know, Suns minus two and a half there. That's the pick that I like uh, in that game. But other than that, uh, I'll be back with you on Friday with uh, some more picks. Uh, thanks for watching.